are coming. Netflix's new show, The Three Body Problem, has captured imaginations and stoked controversy. Global News looked into the science and politics. The first question raised by the show, Who are they? Well, maybe the second, is what is a three-body problem? Let's start with a two-body system. Take our solar system. Now, there are many other planets and their own moon, but they're very small compared to the sun, so their gravity is also very small. We can just focus on the sun and the earth and start with two bodies. Now, the sun's gravity holds the earth in a stable orbit. Another close and very large object creates the three-body problem, which is that the orbit is no longer nearly as predictable. The change in gravity would cause environmental disaster, like earthquakes, floods, and radically different climates. Humanity, if our surface temperature fell below zero consistently for just years, let alone centuries or beyond, you know, we'd be toast. The three bodies in the show refers to three suns affecting the alien's home planet. The show also mentions detonating nuclear bombs in space to propel a spaceship forward, a concept once considered by the U.S. but abandoned in the early 60s. An astronomy professor says it looked dangerous. You've now got this irradiated plate behind you, so the rest of this vehicle has got to be further in front of that in a scaffolding fashion. Then there's quantum entanglement, aliens using subatomic particles to view Earth. Quantum entanglement technically does talk about information states that are identical here and here, regardless of the distance. Entanglement is real, Delaney says, but not how the show describes it. The moment you put the word quantum in front of anything, everybody goes, ooh, and anything seems possible. The show's controversy comes from a scene set in 1960s China, where a scientist is murdered in public. We're talking about tens of thousands of people who were beaten to death, some cases cannibalized. Mao Zedong launched the Cultural Revolution to re-secure power and purge rivals. This China scholar says the Chinese regime glosses over the violent period, and the blowback likely comes from people's shock. They may be outraged that foreigners are embarrassing them, um, but that's because of the ignorance that was placed on them by their own authorities. Netflix hasn't announced a second season yet, but the largely positive reviews might solve that problem. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.